Hi folks, it's Catherine. Today we're going to look at Trove. Trove is from the National Library of Australia and it's a tremendous resource, uh, particularly if you're looking for Australian content for your assignments. You will find it at trove.nla.gov.au. When you come into Trove, if you have used Trove in the past, you'll see that it's had a bit of a makeover. Uh, and the first thing that pops up is this notification of cultural advice. Uh, for many of you, this will not apply. So you can click on there and just say, don't show cultural apply advice. Uh, for others, it will be relevant and you'll need to use it. So Trove covers uh, Australia's libraries and the online databases that they have created relating to our newspapers, images from our museums and galleries, uh, and even digitized websites. So it is an incredibly useful resource. So we're going to do a search and we are going to do a search on Yvonne Kulmatri, the Nanjeri artist. So, as you can see, I've done a search before. Now, when the results page comes up, you'll notice, if you've used Trove before, that the order of the different categories has changed. Where books used to be first, it's now newspapers and gazettes. Uh, this change has happened because this is the most popular part of Trove. And on the results page, you'll see that beside each category, it shows you the number of total results. Uh, it gives you the first three for each one. And you can see the different groupings that you have. So we've got some images here. Um, his books and libraries. Uh, diaries, letters and archives. Music, audio and video. People and organisations. So there's a section there which draws upon um, sources such as the Australian National Dictionary of Biography. Uh, Design, and Art, Design and Art Australia Online. And so on. So now websites, you'll notice that it's a separate item. So, but we'll come back to that in a moment. So if we look at books, I'm going to open this in a separate tab. We'll look at this first one, Riverland. And it tells you a bit about the book, uh, gives you some of the relevant subjects and the different editions. And here, if you click on Borrow, and then South Australia, it'll show you all the libraries that has a copy of this book. And you'll see that we have a copy at the school, so you know that you can come and borrow it from us. Um, I'm just going to click back again for the moment. Then over here, you can reduce the number of results or refine them for something that you want to look at more closely. In this case, I'm going to look at free access online for various books. So this top one here, Eel Traps, is at Monash Online. So if I click on there, if I want to read it, open a new tab. This takes me to a digitized copy of this exhibition catalogue. It's only a small one, four pages. Uh, but you can now download it and use it to refer to in your assignment. So. Coming back to our main page in research and reports, that's what used to be journal articles. Um, again, we'll open a new tab because I don't want to lose those results there. And you can see that some of the books have actually been classified as research and reports. So we're going to click over here and say journal and magazine articles. And you can see a list of different articles about Yvonne. So, um, and some of them it's telling you is in the Trove Digital Library. So if we click on this one, performance, and we go to read, view, I'll open this up in a new tab. And you can now read the article from there. There's also a text 
um, on the right hand left hand side that you can mend if you want but this is the article here um, not really able to download but I think you can print from here so um, this can be quite useful to get hold of now if you log in I'll just log in now for those of you who have used it in the past, you may remember you used to be able to tell it which libraries you were a member of. That no longer applies. Instead, the point of logging in is that you can create lists. And this is quite useful for tracking the items that you want for your assignments to, to create a list for yourself. So we can see here there is an article from the Canberra Times. So if I click here, Alan lists and I'll say let's add this to the list and I'm going to add it to Yvonne Kumatri and save and then I can close and this you can move this page which is a scan of the newspaper article to read the short piece on Yvonne Kumatri so um, that's the, I imagine, the exhibition catalog or a poster for that particular exhibition. So we'll go back. I'd have to. Right, that's it. Now, to look at websites, that's a little bit different. You'll notice before they didn't show us the first three items. So we click on search websites. And now it shows us, and you can see there's quite a lot of different websites. It says here at least 15,282 results. And it groups them. So you can see that from this particular website, there's 457. So if you want to delve into there, you can do that. Now I mentioned about lists. This is where lists particularly come in very handy. Um, when you look at all of these items and you think, how on earth do I keep track of it? Um, but before we go back to the list, I'm just going to click on audio. Oops, went too far then. So here we have the art of patience. And it says that it's available at the National Library, sorry, Radio National. If you click on there, now, it's a little bit confusing, this one, unlike the Monash one that we looked at before, where we just clicked on it and it took us straight to us. If we click on this one, it takes us to the homepage for Radio National, which we don't really want. Instead, you need to come down here and now we have the interview that you can listen to um, from ABC Radio National or it tells you how long it is um, within that. So if we come back and now I'm going to show you the list. Now you can see I've got two lists here. Uh, Mechanics Institute, which is one that I put together for my own research and you'll see that it's a public list. And then there's Yvonne Komatri, and this is one that I've created. And you'll notice that I've made it a private list. In other words, I'm the only person who can see it, and only when I'm logged in. So I click on there, then the various items that I have found are here on this list. And it means that I don't have to go hunting for them again. So this can be a very useful thing for you to do when you're doing your research. So that's Trove. I hope you find it useful. Uh, good luck with your research.